to uh, the producer before we go any further. You just pull this one out of the box. Four mm. strings and the Fender logo, please. Sanders from Mastodon. I am here at Fender to share with you and the world my new signature Silverburst P bass. Being a Fender signature artist means uh, quite a lot to me. I don't think Fender just gives out guitars to anybody, so I feel like uh, myself and my own path, but most importantly, uh, the band's trajectory through time is, has, has like built a reputation and, uh, and, uh, and Fender has welcomed me into their family. And, you know, not only have I been playing Fenders for a long, long time, but uh, many, many great artists before me. So it's a special club to be a part of, that's for damn sure. I guess the creative process can really start anywhere. You know, I've been inspired by, you know, landscapes that you drive through or, or an experience that happens. Um, it can really strike at any time, I think. I think it's really important to uh, to capture whatever vibe or feeling you 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 get from from any inspiration, and um, and kind of lock it in and let it come out and be channeled through the art that you have and that you create. When I have an idea, if anything strikes me, I sit down and either try to finger it out, if there's something running through my head, or I write it down and it can come out lyrically at some point too. Uh, my approach is is pretty simple. It's just it's just being honest and and being uh, authentic. Growing up, uh, I was super absorbed into the peak of the MTV era, when music videos were non-stop. And around the age 10 or so, that uh, I was fully immersed in it. it was life-changing. Everything from the heavy metal on Headbangers Ball to the alternative rock on 120 Minutes, and all the pop music that was going on at the same time, I absorbed it all loved every bit of it. Uh, at the same time, my younger brother, Darren, was super into punk and he was turning me on to like uh, Circle Jerks and Bad Religion. And then my older brother, Kyle Sanders, was turning me on to Judas Priest and Kiss and Van Halen. So I'm getting the best of all these worlds and just soaking it all in and just fully immersed in it. And it was just a matter of time before I realized I want to do that with my life. So um, the day I turned 16, I got my driver's license and found some dudes to go jam with and drove to my first band practice. Full speed ahead since that day. I was really lucky enough to start a relationship with Fender um, many years ago and was able to collaborate on a Jaguar bass guitar that I did for many years. And it was awesome and that's pretty much all I've played since. Continuing the relationship with Fender um, I wanted to own a P-Bass in the Silverburst fashion, and uh, it's damn sexy, so they were super into the idea. Uh, a lot of back and forth to get the right instrument in my hands that makes me happy, makes them happy. Kind of created something new in the fact that all of my guitars that I own are, are active, and I like, to keep, I like to keep it that way. some of my Fender basses that are passive. The idea of combining the idea uh, came about and was pretty intriguing um, and can really please anyone. What we came up with was um, my comfort zone is to have this uh, the PJ split pickup wise. I always rest my thumb right here, always have, always will. So comfort's the key. One of the biggest uh, differences between the previous signature Jaguar that I had with Fender uh, and this new model is that uh, electronic wise, uh, it was really voiced for me. We created some custom pickups 
that I wanted to uh, to build with Fender to really uh, be more versatile and handle tuning down to A, which can get real sloppy sometimes. And I wanted to 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 kind of have a throwback meets brand new um, vibe uh, audio wise, and to give it more headroom. It's going to take two 9-volt batteries in the back. More sonic space is available with the two 9-volt batteries. So if you want to go active with this sucker, it's going to pop. And you're going to see it, and you're going to hear it, you're going to feel it. volume. This is a uh, pickup switch, um, P to J. And we have a stacked treble bass knob here. Kind of cuts down on some real estate here. Stack them up. Easy. Easy to control. Easy to reach. Um, but the key here is uh, being able to go passive to active, this little toggle switch. So having this here um, allows the best of both worlds. And I've, uh, with this prototype here, I've I've uh, played loud with it on my own, and I've also sat down at a studio to, to check it out as well. And it's very versatile, and I think that that's key to, uh, to this bass guitar and what sets it apart from others. When, when discussions of this bass began, we had just put out an album called Emperor of Sand, and that is the logo that is on the 12th fret. And on the back side of the headstock, instead of signing my name or printing my signature, I kind of wanted to embrace the uh, inner Neanderthal within myself and kind of create a Stonehenge logo because a lot of times I like to joke about uh, being part caveman and, you know, half of my life is spent living under a rock and oblivious to a lot of reality in my surroundings. So I thought it would be fun to, uh, to put a Silver Burst logo on the back with my name. Uh, hopefully people won't find that too obnoxious if they want to purchase this, but I think it's funny and uh, and I hope you do too. I have a lot of features on here that I really love. Uh, which is important. Feel-wise, it's the neck. I have played basses with thinner necks that I've enjoyed for quick movement. I've played basses with a fatter C neck, which really gives some, it really solidifies some simple down low notes that you're playing. Uh, I chose to go kind of right in the middle because I do a lot of both. I'm allowed to go high and uh, kind of dig into some emotional stuff a little better. Uh, and it also handles the low and the growl and the speed and the dirty. I play distorted quite a bit. It handles it like a charm. Aesthetically, uh, number one, it would be this word here that says Fender because to be a part of it is phenomenal. The other thing that I probably am most proud of on the back here, this is the icon symbol from Mastodon's Remission album that came out in 2002. So when I see uh, the combination of a Fender logo and uh, this Mastodon icon here, it makes me think of my bandmates um, and what we've done collectively to, to, to be here talking to you today. It's a very unique uh, emotion when you see someone playing your signature bass. It's like a comp, it's the ultimate compliment if you see someone playing your signature bass somewhere. And I've seen that happen, and I've seen it hanging in stores, and it's like an ultimate compliment, really. Also very humbling, you know? There's, there's a, uh, a saying that I've kind of lived by for a long time. It's like, the moment that you think you're the shit is the exact moment you cease to become the shit. No one can ever get bigger than their britches. You don't want to lose that. I sound like a dad. I am a dad. I'm supposed to be authentic to myself. that people 
see my playing as, um, as real and for the love of the art and for the love of music. And what music does around the world, I've seen it with my own eyes, it spreads uh, enthusiasm and love. And to see people all around the world, different states, different countries, closing their eyes and singing to your band, that's undeniably the uh, best feeling of all time ever. And uh, I hope to continue to see that more and more because it's priceless.